You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. What's all good, night. YouTube? Everybody, you two here back again on to again. And today, people, today we're here for episode number 15 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way to Paniola Ranch, did a few side quests, got an egg on the party as well, and made our way up here to well, bu Bucklet, Bunker, bu Bucklet, Bucket Hill, whatever it's called, where apparently the next trial master, Lana, is waiting. And I'm very excited to take on her challenge, but we ran into How and a new friend here first, which we left the last episode in a cliffhanger. So we're here now to continue where we left off. So if you guys are hyped for some more Sun and Moon, and of course, if you're proud of everything that be nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy Nation can let's play a game. God damn it. I would do a team recap for you guys, but we're stuck in story. We can't do that right now. But, oh, 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 man, I lost again. Who is this nigga? Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it. You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Here I come in my fucking dope ass clothes. Whoa, hey Nappy. This guy is plenty scary. <sighs> Your Nappy. Uh, yeah, nigga, that's me. Who's asking? Hmm. Not very cautious. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladion. I battle for my partner, No, to make it strong. Though most of our time gets used up doing small jobs for Team Skull. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. No. <laughs> no. Flat out, no. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Team Skull Gladion. Zubat. Nigga, you just talked about no, and you gonna send out a fucking Zubat. You can't talk a big game. He's a grower, not a shower, apparently. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. We got this big dog. I ain't scared of you. I, ain't, I wish I had an electric type move. But that's fine. We here. We here. Sharp beak boosted. You catch nothing but the finest of dick. Bite? Ain't nothing to a nigga like me. Ain't nothing to- Gabrielle is eating that! You suck! You are a fucking loser! Come on, bro. Come on, show me the null. Show me the null, big dog. Show me the null, big dog. Show me that null, big dog! Come, come! Type null. Oh, shit. Yo, if type null gets blown away by a fucking Oricorio. Look at this nigga! Look at this nigga right here. Air cut of this hoe. He should outspeed us. He doesn't outspeed us. Oh, he's got the mask on. He's all chained up. Bro, that did nothing. Ah! That did so much damage. We're good, though. We're good, though. We got this. We're good, though. We got this. You're getting taken out. You're getting taken out by a fucking cheerleader, bro. That's how much your life sucks, Gladion. You're so edgy and you're so emo. Bro, you're gonna get destroyed, bro. Ugh! Yow! Air cutter, this nigga. No potions? You are such a terrible trainer. My outfit looks better than yours, too, nigga. I just whooped your ass in style. In fucking style and profiling my dude. Yeah! Team Skull Gladion got the dick. <gasps> How annoying. Nigga! Nigga. <laughs> Ugh. It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. What? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using it as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hala when he's serious. You know my grounds. Wait, so you think I'm strong? Oh, uh, oh, 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 shit. Look at you, little Nagladia. Aren't you a real cool guy? <laughs> Bro, you can't mock this nigga. Oh, we got Lady Grunt now. 
I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh, nigga? No worries, we got enough backbone to cover for you. Ha <laughs> backbone. Just give it up already. Huh? You're a bitch. You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. Look at me in my swagged out fucking outfit. <laughs> They're good Pokemon. That thigh gap. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of our time thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill, that's what it is. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Bars. Listen up, Gladion. The boss don't like you. That's true. But you just some hired help we keep around from when we need you. You aren't a part of Team Skull. Not really. And you never will be. Got it, nigga? You better get it, nigga. Bitch. Why do they talk to him like that? Like he ain't about to just snap on all y'all and pull something out that bag and... Mmm. End it all. End it all. Dang, Snappy and Onikorio too. It was a good battle. Whew, looks like I gotta train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Nappy, take these with you. We're gonna beat this island challenge. Three revives. Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot, 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 hot damn. Next stop is another trial site, Brooklyn Hill. What is a Brooklyn anyway? Wait, I need to I need to get to this Pokemon Center and heal first. We gotta be I thought we had to beat all the trainers in Route 5 first. I thought that's what we had to do. That's what we were charged with, to beat all the trainers on Route 5. I think what I'm gonna do... Well, first off, let me fight these niggas. Look at this interracial couple here. Are these Tiger Woods parents? Hmm? Are these Tiger Woods parents? Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat all the trainers on Route 5 first. And then we'll head up there to the Pokemon Center and heal, and then move on to the to the trial site because he was a trial. Uh, oh, look at these! They're so cute. If she has the Volibee, yo, that's racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. Yo, look at our fucking proud squad, yo. I'm so proud of you. I'm so I'm so I'm so proud of you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're 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 we're, we're doing work. We can stomp. We don't have to fucking bulldoze, bitch. Come come. Come, come. I wonder what would, like, a competitive... Oh, raise that defense. I wonder what would, it, like, a competitive Mud Mudbury, Mudsdale... Because I feel like Mudbury with Eevee Light is going to be broken. But, like, Mudsdale would have, like, what? Like, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Curse, and Rest, maybe? Might get Milk Drink, perhaps? I could see that. I feel like it can handle most threats with just that moveset there. Uh, Grass Sides would be a problem. Actually, they could give it Blaze Kick. There's really no reason why it, w it shouldn't or wouldn't get Blaze Kick. I don't see a reason why it shouldn't or wouldn't. I'm just saying, our fucking Sharp Beak Oricorio is a fucking monster. It's destroying everything. It's doing so much damage. Like, what the hell? What the hell? What I was going to say is we're going to start using uh, Delilah more often now. Feather Dance. Can you learn an electric type move? For fuck's sake. I don't think it will. I don't think it will, to be honest. Uh, only because you can change his typing. Wait, doesn't it get... Wait, didn't they say on the Pokemon website that it was going to get, like, one move that changes typings as you change its typing? Didn't they say it was going to get something like that? It had a signature move or something like that? Kind of like how when you change Rotom Forms, it's, uh, it, it's, its main move changes. Hydro Pump, uh, Leaf Storm, Overheat, Blizzard. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, Delilah. I know you got... I know you got dust on you. I know you got dust on you. Come, come. Come, come. Oh, no. It's not. What is this? For wiping off dirt? Comb for grooming. Oh, look at her. Look at Gabrielle. Look at Gabrielle. Yo, I got a yellow bean with your name on it. Go ahead. Munch on that. Munch on that. Yeah, get happy. Get happy with it. Get happy with it. Here, here. Take a green one. Yeah, get happy with it. Get happy with it. Get happy with it. Get, get, uh, get happy with it. Yeah, happy with it. Get happy with it. Get happy with it. Yeah, yeah. Get happy with it. Get happy with it. Get happy with it. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, so that's uh, another two pair. Okay, so we did that. I'm gonna take the experience share off for right now so that our other mons don't get too high leveled. Because I, I, I don't want to just like breeze through the game, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, should I? Should I? It's just we haven't used Frankie it since it hit level 20 and she's level 22 or he's level 22 now. So I think I'm gonna turn it off for right now. Just for right now. Until we get through this next trial. Just so we don't end up being too over leveled, you know? So we're not too high leveled. Are there really a, a shit ton of trainers on Route 5 though? Is that what's really happening? Picky bag, nigga, move along. Move along. Please and thank you. Move along. Move along. I'm not interested in what you're doing. I couldn't get away. Why? Is, why? Why? This is such a huge problem in, in 7th Gen. I cannot tell you how many times I've tried to run and I just cannot fucking leave. It's so annoying. Like, it's, it's so much more prevalent in this generation than any generation before. It's so annoying. Let me search, my dude. There's a fucking much more call over there. How the fuck are you supposed to get up there? Oh. What? What? Star piece, apparently. Oh, there's a ramp right there. Let's see, how the fuck are you supposed to get up there? That's that's, that's it's blocked off. Another fucking picky peg. Okay, so there's one trainer there, and I know I saw another one on that raised platform that was over there, but I want to get this TM as well. There's so much to do. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back street? I would like to at least start our trial in this episode as well, but we'll see what ends up happening. Look at this. Look at this. It's so dope riding a Stoutland. Torment. Mmm. Nice and torment. Route 5 looks like it's a pretty fucking large route. Hey, co come here. Come, come. Get the dick. Come, come and get this this penis. This fellatio. Which I think, honestly, we should be able to battle this chick and then head south and loop back around and come up to the Pokemon Center. That's what it looks like on the map, at least, so. More low? Oh, this thing! I'm pretty sure it's Grass Fairy, which means you... Oh, wait! This is a ground type. I forgot. We don't have Oricorio out. More lol is a thing. Hold on. Let's switch. Time out. I know we're supposed to be training you, Delilah, but there's a grass type on the field. And I'm not trying to get you blown away. Or is it a ghost type? Is it ghost grass? I thought it was grass fairy. This thing doesn't evolve either, does it? I don't know. It just got absolutely destroyed. It just got blown away. My god, a ladybug? Fuck it. Fuck it. Might as well just air cut the fuck out of this thing while we're here. Jesus Christ, ladybug is huge. It's a gigantic ladybug. Destroyed. My goodness. My goodness. But you know what? That, that remind, I was gonna say, that ladybug reminded me of the first gym from Kalos. I like how they're diversifying the Pokemon world with island challenges or island trials because I, I like it's it's one thing for them to like attempt it and do it I mean let me organize my thought process it's one thing for them to like just try and play it off but the way they go about it if you continue up this path you'll find a Pokemon Center pass the Pokemon Center's trial site Brooklyn Hill bro it's one thing for them to try and like play it off, but like they work it into the lore. Like they recognize and acknowledge the fact that, hey, in other regions they do it this way, but in this region, we do trials and shit like that. So it's not like it's completely like a part of an entirely different world. It's just over here in this region, we do things a bit differently, which I think, honestly, if they did like a Gen 8, if they did a Gen 8, when they do Gen 8, Charge Beam, hot dog. Like they could easily just revert back to gyms because in that region, they do gym battles. But my thing is, does that mean... Oh shit, Formantis! Okay, ladies, now let's get in Formantis! Yeah! Okay, ladies, now let's get in Formantis! Yeah! Hold on, we might have to add Formantis to the squad! Because I do like Lorantis. I like Lorantis better than uh, Serena or whatever the other thing is. 
But I think you can only I don't know. Did they make it so that you can only evolve it at night or some shit? I can't attack this with anything. It will thoroughly get bodied. It will thoroughly get bodied. Quick ball. We're on turn two, right? Turn two, so quick ball should still work. We should still be able to catch this four mantis with this quick ball. Shit. 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 That's, that's cool how they give you... Uh, well, they always do that. It's, they give you a grass type right before the water type trial, which I'm guessing is what's next. Since they say it, all this... This, this fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck, yo, can I use this premiere ball? Shit. The pseudo wudo and the water EMZ move and all this shit. Which, yo, we get the water EMZ? Say goodbye to the quick claw. I'm gonna put the quick claw on, uh, uh, Delilah. I'm gonna put the water EMZ for Mantis call for help. Please don't do this. No help. No help. Help did not appear. There we go. I just, I can't attack it. Toss is great ball, yo. Stay in the ball. Make this easy for us. Thank you. Okay, ladies. Now let's get in for Mantis. Oh, it's Fomantis. Huh. I always thought it was four Mantis. Fomantis's data will be added to the Pokedex. Yo, it's so angry. Why are you so mad, my dude? Why are you so mad? Calm down. During the day, it sleeps and soaks up light. When night falls, it walks around looking for a safer place to sleep. So you're just worried about sleep. Well, obviously, I thought it was Four Mantis, so I'm gonna name this thing the one and only thing that I can. Beyonce. Can we change it so that we can use a... Uh... Oh shit, I hit okay. Well, there goes that. It's female too. So we have Beyonce the Fomantis. Okay, ladies, now let's get in Fomation. Fomation. Alright. <laughs> Another battle again. Like, I don't want to use repel because I want to see what mons are in the grass, but it's like every five steps for a fucking Caterpie, dude. Get the fuck out, my guy. Get the fuck out. But the point I was making before is like they could do 8th gen and go straight back to badges. Go back to the traditional format because like it's unique to this region. And like back in 11th gen or something, they could return to like a challenge style format or something to continue and again do something different. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing over and over again. I wonder if you can only find the hidden items while on the back of the whatchamacallit. Huh. Huh. On the back of the Stoutland. But what I was gonna say before we ran into that thing is does that mean that like remakes for 8th gen are out of the question? We're not going to get a Diamond and Pearl remake because that would mean... Are, would they stick to the no badge system? Would they apply that to Diamond and Pearl? Or is it just because it's a remake, it would just be redone with all of this... Like this engine and whatnot, it just we still have badges. Because I'd, I'd be down with either one, to be honest. Actually, no, I'll keep the badges, keep the fucking badges. Alright, we're going to try and absolutely obliterate this Paris. Can we get a flinch, please? It's a grass type, can we get a flinch? My dude. My dude. Really? <sighs> I'm 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 trying here. I'm fucking trying here. You're just making things as difficult as you possibly can, my dude. You're making things just, just difficult. I wonder how many more trainers are left on Route 5. Does Route 5 end at the Pokemon Center? I hope it does. Because we should come right up on the Pokemon Center here. Spinarak? <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck it. I'd love to stomp the shit out of this thing, but it's we're asleep. And then it's going to set up sticky webs. And toxic spikes and before you know it we're in a competitive situation and our ass handed to us absolutely handed to us and we are honestly we are dicking down all these pokemon on this route wait 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 care 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 care, care. Mud, uh, delilah's asleep we gotta wake delilah up come on come on delilah come on it's okay it's okay wake it up i know you ain't used to having real niggas like me around 
I'm here to change your whole life, girl, so you don't deal with clowns. And treat you like the superstar that you are. Cause I'm a superstar too, and I know exactly what I must do to make you feel. I'm about to wake it up, feel like I'm about to wake it up, feel like I'm about to wake it up. Don't it feel so good, girl? Let me stop. All right, so we we made it all through here. That there's still that area that's north of here that looks like there are trainers there. I'm gonna go check with the dude, the trial, the trial attendant guy, and see if we uh, cleared everything out or not. And I don't know if I'm going to add Beyonce to the squad or not. Like I said, I kind of want to. But I think I'm going to wait and see what the egg hatches into before we decide. Because I feel like the egg's going to be like a wishy-washy or some shit. It's bold nature too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we end up evolving into. What's up with you, dog? The totem Pokemon, they have fearsome defenses. Yes, they do. Perhaps you should use this to your advantage. Hmm. Huh. Use Dire Hitting Pokemon makes it more likely to land critical hits with attacks. Brooklyn Hill has its own totem Pokemon. Yo. Oh shit, what's poppin' with you, Slowpoke? You're a long way from home, buddy. You're a long way from home. I have Bounce Sweet. The Pokemon is perfect for Brooklyn Hill. If you like, please trade it for your Lily Pup. You don't even have to do it? Wow. I mean, I can go and catch another lily pup just for GP. Let's trade. We're trading lily pup for bounce sweet. Only reason I'm doing this is because I feel like bounce sweet is version exclusive. Because bounce sweet doesn't bounce sweet evolve into Serena. And then Faux Mantis evolves into Lorantis. Look at that trade. It looks like the Switch card. I feel like this is version exclusive. I'm not 100% sure though. So if we were to play Moon version, he would ask for a full, uh, Lily Pup for Faux Mantis. Bouncy the Bounce Sweet. Take good, count, do good care of Bouncy. Swag, bitch. Bounce Sweet's dead, it'll be added to the Pokedex. Fuck it. Oh no, it doesn't. There's two stages. Well, shit. A delectable aroma pours from its body. They are often swallowed whole by two cannon lured by the wafting deliciousness. Damn! That's fucked. I think two cannon is the final evolution. Bounce Sweet is incredibly cute too, so please take good care of my Pokemon. I think Bounce Sweet is the final evolution. I mean, two cannon is the final evolution of Picky Peck. So Akala Pokedex. Bounce Sweet's just chilling down here. No, Fomantis evolves into Lorantis. Bounce Sweet's just chilling there. Can you catch a Tauros? Yes, you can. What about what about Espeon? You can catch Wild Espeon? Bro. Bro. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. You can catch Wild Espeon? Brooklyn Hills for the water type Pokemon. Um, excuse me, but could I ask you something? Sure. Thank you for giving me some of your time. You see, I'm doing a study about the effects of water quality on Pokemon. And right now, I'm looking at the situation of Brooklyn Hill. I'm currently surveying whether a Pokemon called Feebath can be found living around there. But I'm terrible at fishing, so I'm not making any progress at all. You gotta get off you a bit of part-time work as a research assistant. Could you try and catch a Feebath for me in Brooklyn Hill? I'm a rather shabby-looking Pokemon. So I think you have no trouble recognizing when you see it. If you manage to catch one, please come and show me your Pokedex data. I have enough budget to pay you, so please. Well, how I don't have a fishing rod, my dude. Are they alluding to a fishing rod soon to come? That guy's holding a fishing rod. So that would be fucking dibbity dope if you can give me a fishing rod, my guy. Okay, so I'm guessing we change areas over there. So have we fought everyone in Route 5? Nope, we have not, apparently. Uh, so can we get up here? I guess you have to come back around. There's a volcano over there. I guess you have to come back around. Because you can't actually access that side of Route 5 just yet. Well, fuck. We're in Brooklyn Hill, goddammit. Oh, shit. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to save the game. Before we start this, I'm saving the game. I'm saving the game. Even if the episode might be a wee tad bit short, I'm saving the game. I don't want to start it just yet and have another cliffhanger. Or I, if we do the trial, I want it to be all at once. So 
I apologize for the cliffhanger. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated, because can't nobody let's play a motherfucking game like the Nappy Nation can, damn it. Thank you all once again for your support. Thank you for checking the video, but we out this bitch. Bye!